What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. All right, good morning everybody. It is 10:15 a.m. Sorry for the late start. Uh we are now back with some more against the storm experimental branch. And uh looks like it may get released next week since they're not doing any more of the species hub test. It could be that the game will get released sometimes next week. Now, I think uh, Luke actually said that in the general chat. Yeah, there won't be any new changes coming to the experimental branch before update 1.3 goes live. We'll be sharing more news about possible 1.3 release dates soon, but if all goes well, we should be able to release it next week. So sometimes next week is the expected drop date for 1.3. Now that's also around, I think, when Manalore drops, right? Friday, right? Friday the 26th. And also, I think, hang on. Let me uh, drop another game for you guys here. Release like, April 24th, right? Okay. So April 24th, Odd Sparks, an automation adventure, also drops into early access. So maybe we'll get lucky and have Against the Storm on Monday. We'll do some Odd Sparks on Wednesday. Uh, well, actually, sorry. We will be doing some Odd Sparks soon. I actually got two keys. Uh, one from Emailer and then also one from the Odd Sparks um, developer themselves. A missive a mini team. And thank you for to them. For getting me a key but yeah there's an embargo for that apparently i won't be able to stream that until later today 3 p.m or something but apparently the key mailer version has no embargo so i don't know what's up with the the difference there anyways today we're gonna check out more of the experimental branch before it gets released next week into live let me go ahead and accept this chain And I do want to round out or finish off our current cycle before the actual live, because once we switch over to live, um, it'll be different. Because also, uh, the... Okay, so here's the other thing, too. Um, in the, the original announcement for 1.3, it said that there would be a new Glade event. And I was looking for that. Um, in this experimental branch, and I actually asked uh, Luke, the developer, like, hey, you know, the announcement said there was going to be one point, or sorry, there's going to be a new Glade event, but I wasn't sure because I didn't see any new events and if I should be using debug mode open Glades just to find out what they are. He said, no, it's not in the current version. I guess they're saving that for the live version. A little surprise. But we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it's exciting. Maybe they'll surprise us with some other updates. I don't know. Alright, so we are currently at 73 fragments. We need 105. I believe we figured out it's going to be like, what? Four towns? Three? Uh, three towns if we pick up a shard, right? Let's do the math here. 105, subtract 73, that's 32. 32 divided by 9, that is 3.5, right? So let's say 3 times the 9, that's 27 out of the 35. Is it right? Subtract 73, right? 32, thir uh, sorry, 32 subtract the 27, it needs 5, right. So technically, if we get a resupply chest and take the 5 shards, 5, five, five fragments, we could do this in 3 towns. Uh, okay, so let's see here, this is what? Followers of the Forsaken God. And followers of the Forsaken Gods says, uh, you make your way through 
whiles, you hear a faint humming, an eerie song, and a strange language. As you get closer, you see a strange uh, cloaked figures gather around a strange obelisk. One of them points at you and the other slowly walking towards you. So if we send volunteers, we lose two villagers, we get four seal fragments, and four embarks. That's not enough to actually do it in three. Now this one is actually not terribly bad because getting mushrooms in the third one is a pretty good deal. Five points even. They actually jacked this up not too long ago. Probably like two updates ago. Um, we're getting five reserve points. It used to be four. I think this used to be 20 mushrooms. Um, Alright, so before year eight ends, we take that. This is one of our towns, right? One of our towns. The one. Depending on what this is. I'm not too keen on doing this one. That's all I can tell you. So we could go here. This is one, two, three, right? That doesn't reach them. One, two. Yeah, I'd have to use a range of one two three one of these I could just use a range of and uh, the one town two town three wait no one two no I can't just use a range of I have to have three towns one two three Yeah, I guess I could clarify. One, two, three, and in. One, two, three, and in. Yeah, well, right here is the optimal spot. Or here. Or here. Two. Working today? Hey, Shepin, good morning. Well, we'll find out. I we won't we won't know anyways. For all I know, this could be a town and it just moves us forward. Let's just take this right. The win before year eight ends with ten dead villagers, gaining twenty five mushrooms, five reserve points. So Shepin, I um, I think I can I can disclose this information. I should be able to. I just had a meeting with the uh, developers for um, Mind Over Magic. And uh, they were just asking for my input on how to make the, um, how what what they can do to make the game more engaging for the uh, streamers, content creators, and viewers. So I gave them some ideas for Twitch integrations. The reason why you're, uh, I thought of your you or your name was because I often name your character in Mind Over Magic as one of the the mages, right? The students and staff members. So, I was like, well, you know, that would be interesting to have some Twitch integration. Alright, so let me add a date here. April 18th. Dash. EXT. Number 2. Press H2. What town number is it? H, right? H. And good morning, Lunchbox. How are you? Okay, so we have town number 8, April 18th, experimental, uh, testing number 2, and this is the Marshlands. Hey Dan, good morning. Thank you for hanging out. The requirement for this is I gotta win before year 8 ends, after that 10 villagers win a game before year 8 ends, after, after 10 villagers have died. Okay, so I have to kill off 10 villagers and win before your eight ends. This is not a curse. This is a challenge. Because right, there, there was one where there was a curse. If I, at the, the beginning of your eight, eight people died. But that did not matter in terms of when I win or not. This one has a winning condition, eight years, technically nine. 
before your eight ends. Um, for this, we have what? Nine in the middle? Six on the top? This is the lowest it's ever going to go, right? Two. Like what? Nine, right? Eight. I'm not a big fan of these. But it does have the most food. And coins and people. Yeah, eight. Did I get anything else? And then uh I have to kill off eight people, right? Because I have to kill people, that means I need to take as many as I can. I mean, we should be able to get five points after this for free if we win. Yeah, I'm okay with this. So, beaver lizards combo, right? Beavers and lizards. All right, so this is the version of the game with the hub modified. We only get one point on level one. We have what? Provisions already? We have grains, right? One, two, three, four. Four different food slots. We have extra money. And we have extra pipes and extra fuel. Lots of fuel, right? Marrows and oil. Yeah, I'm all right with it. We also got, what, three ex extra um, wild essence, too. We have a pretty decked out caravan. Oh, hey, we got humans. Nice. Alright, every small glade discovered grants 10% to planting speed during drizzle. Okay. Muddy ground. Off road. Devastation, right? I, if I don't pay packs of uh, building materials, three of my buildings will get ruined. Or become ruined. Alright, it's not terribly bad, I guess. We'll see. Um, multiply by the number of years. Okay. Oh, this is a um, penalty they're resolved, right? If they don't have complex food. And this is blight multiplied by the number of years. We don't we don't want to hit four. Hey Gazi Bond. Yeah, hey, long time no see for sure. I haven't done a lot of against the storm since Mana Lord uh embargo dropped. But yeah, I'm back to doing some against the storm here until uh I guess uh there's a reason to do uh mana lords again. Alright, we'll find we'll find it. What is this? Oh hey, look at that! We got soil on our, our glade. Nice, we got meat and we got stones. I haven't played in so long. Yeah, your voice is quiet. Did you change something? Is my voice quiet? Is it harder to hear now or no? I should probably bump up my volume then. I did tweak my compressor, but somebody was complaining about how my voice fluctuates a lot. And so I had to change the uh, compressor to make sure that my voice doesn't go too loud or too low. I don't know, is anyone else having any issues? I mean, I watched my VODs from my Mana Lord, and it seems like the volume is fine. It is slightly soft or lower than my Against the Storm runs. But it's still very audible, right? I don't know. Can anyone else hear me fine or no? Maybe I should move my mic closer. Well, anyways, let me know if you guys have some audio issues. But according to my OBS, the bar seems to be moving fine. Um, Alright, so... 
Where else do we have here the soil? The humans are supposed to give us the soil location. Unless the developer did a stealth nerf. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say is unless the developers did a stealth nerf, this is the soil. It doesn't look like that's the case. Weird, huh? Just haven't played in a while, so my mouse is I'm trying to get used to the directions of my my rotation. Playing too much mana lord. Nice. So yeah, this is one point now. This is one point. This is one point. I mean honestly, this makes the game harder, but that's okay. I'm just only worried about new players struggling because they don't get that two points right off the bat. And then the two points for the new hubs. That's my only concern is new players having issues. So I definitely know a lot of new players struggle. Okay, I, I can't. <laughs> is there a rotation? Rotation? Invert mouse rotation, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's me just switching between different games. Alright, whatever. Hey, colorful sun bear. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me. Appreciate that. Let's take a look at this, though. Oh no, workshop! <laughs> oh. Herb garden! Come on now. Herb garden. Alright, I'm gonna go with furnace. That's a good deal, actually. Bars, bricks, and pies. Oh, no. Good deal. Alright, we now have a farm! Look at that, guys. Great start already. Now we just gotta figure out how to kill people. Beaver lizard is truly the worst group. Yes. Well, lizard's not bad. I would have preferred foxes instead of beavers, but whatever. Oh, I forgot to. I struggle to gain rep on it. Lizards, two day threshold. 2D threshold. Two day threshold is so high, and you kind of want to make skewers out of jerkies. Oh, maybe. You know what? I'll take it. Not terribly bad. For some reason, I'm constantly looking for my speed controls down here. It's so awesome, my blade. I don't even know why I made the stone cutter scan. Yeah, I'm 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 rusty, guys. I am so rusty.
Good luck in the run, anyhow. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. It's so weird playing again. Oh. It's very weird playing again. I do like the fact that uh, the the color is more, is brighter now. I think the white does stand out a little bit more now than it did before. Yeah. Yeah, the white definitely is a lot easier now to see. Remember when we did that uh, three streams ago of this? And I was like, okay, you can't tell anything for the colors. The only thing I'm really hoping for now is that Scarlet Test. I haven't done, I don't think I might have done a Scarlet Test. I think I might have already done the Scarlet Test. I can't remember. But yeah, this, we haven't done this one yet. Okay, chat, is this, yeah, I know, right? Okay, chat, is this the tree? I think we did a Scarlet Test. We did do a Scarlet Test, actually, because they I think they tweaked some of the trees. Um, but it could have just been totally random at the time that I was, I was poking around. I don't know, it's funny, right? Chat, is this a tree? And everyone was like, that's a tree! That's a tree! And I'm like, no, not a tree. Not a tree. This is the struggle. struggle. Oh, I forgot there was more. It's Eleven. No pun intended. I really wish they buff flower. The complex food meta is kind of stale, I find, right now. No pun intended. Well, you know what? Funny enough. <laughs> funny enough that you talk about the buff flower thing. I do have some inside information from one of the developers. I'm in a private channel with the developers, and they recently added more people into the channel. The, the rest of the developers into the channel. And funny enough, let me see here if I can relay some of this comment. Give me a second, guys. I will. I will actually. I don't think they said no. You can't tell anyone this. Um, I don't think they said no. You can't. But he did respond to. We will have an eye on this. There are still buffs in other areas for 1.3. I think he, his response to the "We will have an eye on this" is related to the. The new species, or sorry, the new hub changes. Because I was stressing my concern that 
uh, or expressing my concern that this because this is no longer plus two and the second hub is no longer giving you plus two because a lot of people you know kind of rely on the second hub to get by right because you can get by with plus four resolve on like two hubs with 16 people right but when you're at 16 people the best you can get now is only two two right so this is a huge nerf we're looking at 14 gets you two points but 16 people gets you four originally right the new 16 the new 14 you're not going to get anything better than two so that was my concern right i said well look i don't mind this as a new player or as, as a veteran player because this just changes the game dynamics a little bit more and it gives me something new to mess around with because you know I, I always like to play with new experience and new challenges right otherwise it's the same as it, it, what it used to be but I just think that whatever they're trying to do now here can easily be like a DLC only right uh, that way it's more opt-in and, and new players who just bought the game like yesterday right new players who just bought the game yesterday and then they're watching all my video contents or they're slowly learning either from other content creators not just myself who makes video guides or reading forum threads because there's other helpful players on the uh, steam discussion not just myself that will give feedback to somebody struggling in the forum post right i see this all the time by the way so somebody's usually like, oh i'm having trouble you know playing or i can't do whatever and then somebody usually chimes in and they say hey you know hey, have you done this you know, do this you know make, make the second hub or they'll say like hey i'm always struggling on hostility right i get this all the time on my my channel like they come in and they're like oh how do you deal with hostility how are you able to like survive or how are you able to to get your resolve points i'm always struggling right and my usual comment is generally like hey you know get a second hub going because the second hub mitigates your hostility level when you pop a glade right a large glade or two small glades and then you get another two points and those two points generally can help you stay ahead of the curve um so you don't you don't lose resolve or somebody to, uh, to the to the zero resolve right so the tools to make the game a little bit more rng or less rng is now being taken away from new players because the whole thing about the game that I enjoy about Against the Storm is it's you have all these tools available to you and it helps mitigate RNG, right? It used to be people complained about, oh my god, the game's too RNG, it's impossible, I can't win. How does Ron consistently win 20 games in a row, Prestige 20? I can't get past 11, right? And the thing is, the tools that's available to you is favoring, right? You can favor people. That's a juggle. This is juggle, right? Back in the days, they used to call these favor juggling, right? The favor dance, whatever, right? You, you can juggle favoring, right? You can juggle people in and out of the hearth, right? You can put a lizard here if you wanted to, right? If the lizard doesn't ma make an impact on your resolve, then you take the lizard out and you put in the, the whatever that helps you the most, which to me right now is the queen's patience, right? Or you, you juggle out the foxes, right? Juggling is a normal thing. Swapping, you know people around favoring right you juggle food right sometimes you can you can juggle food around right and say hey i you get you get the uh pickle goods you don't get the pickle goods right this is like you know juggling right this is tedious yes but these are tools available to you to mitigate rng and to maximize right hey lurch thank you for that stream appreciate that so as i'm saying right um the the tools available to you here is moving species around between hubs right to to do like you know eight eight that is a normal okay thing to do in my opinion right um or juggling people around into buildings that give you um resolve bonuses for example let's take a look at the furnace that we just got recently right we just got a furnace well, let's place the furnace down like this, right? So if you look at this, well, I guess I guess you can't look at this right now, but once you look at it, once it's available, you'll see, right? This is a specialization bonus, and it'll let you put fo or lizards in there, right? Or or this one right here, right? If you put foxes in this, the foxes will get resolve bonuses, right? So this is normal. This is things that people do to juggle, to 
to uh, mitigate any RNG in the game. So the fact that the developers say, hey, we want to reduce juggling or we, we don't want you to juggle people around in, in homes, I don't kind of buy that. They're just now taking away a tool that helps people survive. And so I, I don't agree with that change um, as much. Especially for people who just bought the game and then next week, bam, 1.3 comes out, right? And now th these are comments. I'm not just saying this from my own point of view. Like I, I went to the Steam forum recently and there was like, I can count a handful on one full hand, at least five people in the same thread saying exactly the same thing I said. And I actually chimed in to reply to these, these postings. Um, they don't like changes like this and changes like this should have been done early access. These are just my feedback, my opinion. It should have it should have been something that they 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 should introduce during the early access before 1.0 release. Now here's here's a reason why, and somebody else said this. I didn't have to say this, right? Somebody actually said this. They are waiting. They have been waiting to buy the game uh, because they want a stable version. They're like, we didn't buy early access for a reason. We didn't want to go in every because you know they kept changing this game every two weeks i i love that i love the fact that they change it every two weeks and they the comment was you know i don't want to buy against the storm because it seems like every month they're adding new things that is different and they want something that's stable and consistent so they can just buy the game and play it now this is not my comment i'm just reiterating echoing what somebody else is saying and two people, at least two people, are, have said the same thing. And then other people obviously said said the same thing. There's many. I, this is probably like a dozen or two dozen people have said, why are you doing the species changes, the whole segregation thing, and the whole, we don't like this. Why don't, why don't you keep this for DLC? That caused the developers to scrap the whole species testing. So now they have nothing else to test. And so I, I just think they decided to throw this one point in, right? Just because they feel like they need to change something. No, you don't need to change something. This has been working for like two years. All of a sudden you're like changing the fundamentals, the two points that everyone's used to here. And now you're spreading across this and making the game extra hard for new players for no reason and extra new players who struggle or players who are just casual, even though they're not new, but they don't do Prestige 20. Yeah, it's a strategy game where the fun is as you improve your decision-making skills. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, what, do you, what are you saying? It's a strategy game where the fun had as you improve. Well, yeah, if the game was consistent, the game was consistent, right? It at least gives people, longtime players, something to work towards. Because it's like, okay, I can now move towards Prestige 20. But if you're constantly changing the game difficulty and they haven't even mastered the game yet, right? Then this change here is like, you're throwing a curveball at them. They just figure it out. Oh, I'm, I'm learning this, how to, how to do the plus two, right? And now you just change the, the plus two to the one. They now have to adapt to this. And this is not what people want. People want consistent you know, 1.0 release where the challenges are fixed now. They are at their leisure, at their own pace, you know, learning the mechanics to improve over time. But if you're constantly changing the game over the time, not everyone is a veteran player. That's just my my echoing the, the players who have these issues. So my fear is, like I said, I, I really fear the rating reviews drop because I don't want against the storm to lose their recent you know their overwhelmingly positive reviews i don't want to see wake up one day and look at the recent reviews or saying it's it's like mixed or it's positive only or mostly positive right that's kind of like okay it's a signal saying hey developers must have done something recently where the game now is is not as enjoyable which causes new players who've been waiting to buy the game oh by the way the game is on sale 35% off. I highly recommend buying it if you haven't bought Against the Storm yet. Just saying. 
But I, anyways, I, I'm I'm concerned that this will impact their recent reviews, where players may not want to buy the game until the recent reviews start stabilizing again, right? Or they roll out a hot fix again to fix the problem because of backlashes. That's just my concern here. I mean, obviously, I don't want to be right because if the, if the game gets like a negative review, then that means less people are buying the game, less people watching my stream, less people wanting to watch my VODs, right? That's just, you know, that's bad. So I sort of have a vested interest on how well they do, right? But hey, you know, that's they want to gamble on this and roll it out next week. It's sort of like when they felt confident moving the 100% Storm from Prestige 5, 4, or whatever it used to be down to Viceroy, and their reasoning was, hey, you know, we've always wanted this. You know, they gave some sort of, there's always like some sort of, this is the direction we want, or this is how we want it to be, right? And they moved the 100% Storm duration towards Viceroy, and then all these people got upset. They were like, hey, you know, we don't play Prestige. Why are you enforcing 100% Storm on us? And I'm just like, hey, this is your developers are doing you a favor. They're making the game easier because longer Storm means you can you can get more resources. You 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 know, you have more time to do these events, right? Or the the world events, right? That requires you within 8 years or less. Stuff like that, right? So they ended up walking back the whole 100% they had to move it up to level two? Yeah, level two, right? They moved up to level two. This used to be on Viceroy. I think this used to be on four or five or something before that too. But anyways, that's, that's bad, right? Sitting around throwing, doing test and then uh, pushing it to live. Well, here's the other thing too, right? These mechanics that they're doing, not a lot of people play experimental okay people don't have time to play experimental and also the same people who don't want to buy the game right away kind of those type of mentalities right they prefer stable versions they don't want to go into experimental and then learn something and suddenly it changes again right so i'm probably in the you know in the um the minority when i actually give feedback related t towards challenges where i say hey I love the challenge. This is great, right? Sort of like the pre the the 100% uh, thing that drops down to Viceroy. I thought that was a good change. I was like, I was all for it. But then, like, they had to walk it back. So now I'm kind of more I'm kind of more mindful of these type of changes, dram dramatic changes, because it's like, well, is this going to impact new players? Is it going to impact the casual players? And I have a platform, I stream to you guys, and I'm kind of like a conduit, right? I get feedbacks from my, you know, YouTube ch uh, comments, you guys, I read the forums. And so I can at least report back to them in the, in the uh, feedback channel, right? And I can say, hey, this is my feedback, and this is also sort of my echoed feedback from other players who don't have time to test out the experimentals. So I don't know, they, it's up to them to decide how much of a weight my feedback is because of, you know, my my channel, right? Of, of how many people tell me what's going on, right? Or how their, their thoughts are from watching the content. Here's the thing, like I posted my experimental branch episode one. And my average views for my regular VODs on my YouTube channel is about 200, right? For the re for the day, the regular episodes of my Prestige 20 SEAL runs, right? I mean, the first, obviously the first couple of episodes for my original walkthrough got high views, but suddenly my experimental VOD recently got a huge spike to 1,300, 1,400 views. That kind of gives you an indication that people don't have time to do the experimental they would rather watch me do the experimental for them and then they can comment and say hey this is this is our feedback right what other city builders do you also play something like caesar 3 
No, I don't do... I haven't done Caesar 3 on my channel. I've done a lot of other city builders on my... my, um... my YouTube channel. I've also played a lot of city builders in the past that I haven't streamed either. Oh, shit. I forgot to make the trade post. Too busy talking. Should be fine. Sorry, I need to pay attention to the game because I don't want to die. Too busy chatting about nonsense. Um, like last time when I did the crashed airship and I wiped out, killed twelve of my people, right, or nine in year three. That was pretty brutal. I did manage to recover, by the way. FYI. One insect for every two mushrooms produced. I'll buy that one. That's actually a very good deal. Got to. Got to. Big strategy uh, offers two trade routes, but no other trader will arrive in your town until you complete three. They put icons here now. It's kind of new, right? Traders currently staying in the settlement will leave immediately. Three roll. Stormblockers tax. Ooh. Eva. Hey, get rid of this money. Some coins. Hey. Hmm. Open five. Trade three. Crop. I take this. The reason is we're gonna lose ten people, right? Or we have to kill off ten people. Or sorry, yeah, ten, right? I think ten people have to die. Uh oh. An apothecary. Solve two. Mm. Ten lizards. Use water. Oh, get a free butcher. I'll take that one. Your field. Huh. Hello. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done my own. Hello. 20 minutes? 10 minutes? I don't think I can get that in 10 minutes, guys. No, I don't think I can get that in 10 minutes. I mean, I have 30, but I don't think I can get that in 10 minutes. Oh my god. What are you bringing me? Ha! Huh. Ten minutes. Don't think so. That's a little too crazy. Twelve. Ugh, I need twenty-eight more, right? I don't think so. Alright, so ten minutes. I need to buy. Viva. He does sell oil, but I don't have any way to get... It's too late now, anyway. Um. Left, right, left. No, right, 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 because I need to do lizards. Right. It open shit. It's 
solve something. I'm probably gonna take that one. Think about it. Yeah, I think probably that one is the best bet. Oh no. I mean, the soil's all the way over there, though. It wouldn't be over here. Yeah, I'm gonna save a ruler here. One, two, three. I mean, it's possible. It is possible. For it to be right here. Theoretically. Man, it is possible. I'm gonna go with this one. Faster. So I need to... Buy shit. Hello. I would like this very much. papa. Yeah. Hello. I have to figure out how to. Well, well, paying for the thingy is not a big deal. Right? A lot of. I need three for the hub. Sorry, three for the blight plane. I'll get five back. Four more. Nine. Now we have 15. Cutters. Minus 12. That's not tap to do that. Oh no! Maybe a problem. Problem. Hello. Not planks. Oh, hello. For my other option. Five bricks. Five fabric. I need to solve that now, right? Yikes on the beavers. Huh? 
Hmm. Sorry, what was I talking about? I was talking about like the changes and how it affects like new players and why players don't like constant changes to something that's fundamental. I mean, you know, it's one thing to make changes and improvements like user improvements, right? Like, I don't mind new changes, right? New improvements or features, right? New features that. Um, improve the game so if you improve the game great but if you're like changing something that's fundamental especially like difficulty curves um anything that alters the difficulty curves for example that is a bad idea a very bad idea Please don't die, human. Come here. Dumb lizard. I should have done this sooner. Yeah, Timberborn, Gorg, Forever Skies, Minor of Magic, Lord Mans. That's from my memory. What other city build will say? Thank you, Shepin, for <laughs> pointing that out. Uh, tribes. The tribes must survive. Dot Age. Settlers of Pangonia. Fabledom. Thrive. I mean, there's a long list of stuff that I play, right? On my YouTube channel. Settlement Rising. Synergy. Builders of Greece recently. Which ones would you recommend the most? Well, obviously Against the Storm, right? <laughs> I stream it so much. Against the Storm is probably my number one favorite for the for city builders. Farthest Frontier is not bad. I like that one. Timberborn. I think Timberborn is probably my second favorite. It's very unique. Um, I mean, the Old School uh, Settler series, the 10th Anniversary version of Settlers 2. It's Settlers 2, 10th Anniversary. The slightly improved version of Settlers 2. I, I like that one a lot. Um... Banish is okay. Yeah, Auto Forge, you kind of binged. Yeah, I did. That's not a city builder, though. That's more of a side scroller. It's more of a colony sin or. Base building, right? I think that's more base building. I brung that. Oh, the lizard. Should be fine. Only four points in the storm, right? Back it from zero. No, it's eight, right? Uh, uh. 
Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. God damn it. You know what it is? It's this. Right, this is the new change that they did, right? This is a perfect example of how this new change is screwing me over, right? I can't get that plus one. Even though I threw the lizard on this. Now I have to like go all the way down. Had this been plus two, perfect example, right? And then I only have to use water on beavers, that's it. Fuck, really? Bullshit. Bullshit. I mean, it just makes it harder and challenging for me. Not a lot of players, new players, know to use water. This is not a common thing. And some people don't have that water, the this engine unlocked. I believe this is like level 4 or something like that, right? New players can't get access to this. But new players should be able to get access to this as a bare basic, right, when they play. This is a perfect example of like, hey... You just screwed out, screwed a lot of new players. One tool that could improve their their first year storm situation. I mean, I'm not struggling, but I'm just saying is that hey, you know, imagine how like a new player reacts to this. Yeah, new players aren't P20 though. Right, yeah, well, look. This is not P20 related. This is not P20 related. Like, what am I doing? What what here is P20 related? Right? They will struggle this on Viceroy. What part of this is P20 related? In my current situation, explain to me how P20 is making it harder right now. More hostility per year per villager. Well, what what difference does that make right now? Nothing. Right? Even if even if that villager count right is multiplied by less, what's that gonna mean? Right? It's like down to here. Right? It's half half value. I don't I don't think that it's it's a multiplier. I already know what you're talking about. It's a multiplier by the hostility count. Um I don't I don't think that makes a difference. My prestige 20 does not make a difference. Does it? Hang on, is it multiplied by what? 4? I think 4 points is normal, right? 4 points is normal. That doesn't say multiply by difficulty level. That doesn't say multiply by difficulty level either. The only thing that's multiplied by difficulty level is the year. Right? The year. And then the people count on the woodcutters. But I don't think that makes a difference. That certainly doesn't make a difference. Because the bar, look at the bar difference here, right? You're, okay, you're, so you're telling me that new players will go to zero and not have a few workers, right? A few woodcutters. I'm already, like, down to, like, two woodcutters. And this is marshland. I mean, I could add another woodcutter, though. That's, well, I can't because of the... 
because of the hostility of the, uh, the woodcutter camp thingy. That I can't do anything about. Maybe that guy. But this plus two, this plus one, does make a difference. So yeah, right? Yeah, you now you feel me, right? You feel me. I feel the, for the new players. That's why I I comment on some of these things. But hey, you know, developers said they're gonna want to release it and watch for feedback. They said they're gonna keep an eye on it. I just hope that keeping an eye on it, they react to it faster rather than sit around and wait for review ratings to drop. That's just too much. On a business perspective, if I was in their shoes, I wouldn't risk this. This is not worth risking to say like, oh yeah, we want to do this one one. We've always wanted to do this because we don't want to do the juggling. But I call BS on that because this whole system has been working for like two years plus. Why suddenly do they want to do that in 1.3 when they could just do that in the DLC, right? They're rolling out a DLC. That is coming soon. That is not, that's not too far off. They actually t told me they're working on DLC right now. Um, so why on earth do you want to roll this change now? Why don't you just wait until the DLC and then that way players can opt in, turn off DLC if they want, if they don't want that, right? Frog soon, yeah, frog soon, exactly. So that is sort of the the issue. It's just it's just not worth to me if I were in their shoes, and I was you know business owner wise. I'm looking at the ratings, looking at the reviews. I've sold like one over one million copy. It's one million people that I could be pissing off. Do I want to piss off 1 million people or even half of that, right? I mean, look, the number of veterans percentage, if you if you go to the Steam and just um, just view by the achievements, right? So you go, let me look at that, right? And then you sort by, like, compare to global achievements. What percentage of players, they know, they have this information, like, I don't... You know, I, I shouldn't be telling, saying any of this to them, right? They already know all this information. They should be able to just easily look at, like, how many people have have gotten to Prestige 1, right? What percentage of the player base am I going to piss off making this change? They should know this. And maybe if they didn't do their research before making this decision, it's time to they, they go back and look at their statistics because it's not... It's it's a big it's a big deal when you're pissing off like a million a million players right even 800 or 900 player base right that's quite a lot now this is this is just the numbers on Steam because they've said we sold over one million Steam copies they also have copies on Epic Game Store right hey Emperor yeah but like how many people have actually gotten to P1 exactly. How many people got to P1? So that means how many people are you going to piss off when you make this change? All the all the comments that are all excited for this change comes from veteran players who, and even on the Steam forums, like, oh, we welcome this. Oh, we love this. This is all about Against the Storm. This is what Roguelike is all about. We like this change. Oh, you should be used to adapting and changing whatever, right? This is the nonsense, these veteran players like myself would probably normally say, but I'm at least now more, I guess, uh, tuned in with new players. I'm more likely to defend now new players and express their viewpoints because I'm concerned that I will lose viewers, right? Who are new players. Like, I'm not concerned about veteran players. Who cares about veteran players? Because my channel... It's like, you're a veteran, why would you care to watch my channel anymore, right? When you become a veteran. It's like, I'm not providing you any new information because you're such a pro, right? I missed it. What's the huge change? Oh yeah, the huge change is, this is going to be one point now. 
and they decided to move the one point over here. You're getting another one point here, but this is bullshit because no one ever gets a level three anyways. So <laughs> having that extra one point on level three is meaningless, by the way. Um, by moving the one point from here to here, you have one less point during the storm in the first year of the content, right? Yeah, well, the content, sure, but maybe. I don't know how many new player veterans want to learn from me. Maybe, they, I guess, they watch for the content, maybe. Um, sure. Um... They finished it, right? Yeah. You play a lot different than I do, so it's nice to see other good players for sex. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. I see, I see that. Well, then I appreciate all the veteran players watching me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lunchbox. I, I'm just, like I said, I I, I like to voice the opinions um, of new players, and I, I read often the Steam forums from the new players' perspectives. And that is kind of like how I I try to stream my channels and do walkthroughs. And so that way, if there's anything that is that may be a, a thing that new players might not get or struggle with, I'd like to be able to walk through that or identify. Or my channel is always open, right? Somebody usually, usually asks questions or you can co come onto the channel and ask how to do something. And I'll I'll be um, I'll be there right you know to answer your questions and walk you through it. And I'm sorry I'm having to repeat a lot of certain things right because of, of that. But you know that's what live live streaming is all about right. You get that questions and answer feedback. Yeah, you're not wrong for doing that. To be fair, more content creators should stick up for new players. Yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean somebody. On the Steam forum, I vented that this this whatever I just told you. Somebody that is a new player chimed in, and she she he uh, I can't tell uh, said, "Hey, you know, I want to chime in and support Ron Empire's you know feedback on this. I support his. Uh, let me see here if I can find it and just read it off to you guys. And this was my response to the 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 fix, the hot fix channel, not the hot fix thread, not the." the original thread where everyone was bitching about segregation, right? This is the the latest change, and I gave this feedback, and somebody wrote, and they chimed in, and they said, you know, um, they said something like, I support uh, this, or I want to give support to this. Um, somebody wrote this. I, I can't even find it anymore. It says, I'm in agreement or something. Something, something. I, I can't even find it. Maybe they removed it. Uh, the yeah, so, Well, okay, hang on. What is it? I support this thread or something? Yeah, here we go. Somebody wrote this. Just wanted to show support for your thoughts in response to my comments. I agree wholeheartedly. I think the game is perfect as is, and every new update I dread to read the changes out of fear that the devs have changed something fundamental to the game. Hence this. This is very fundamental. I don't mind small changes, but massive overhauls that affects the things I've learned to play with around since I began playing this game really burns me out. For a hardcore player who wants new challenges and new metas, I think it would be best to keep those to the DLCs. Uh, so that is not to alienate the player base from the game they love. A bit of a side note, I, but I personally think optimizing and balancing or reinventing your game constantly due to player feedback is not necessarily always a good thing. It can sometimes be too much. Older games did this less, and that similar feeling was something that made me fall in love with Against the Storm in the first place, right? So, yeah, this change is suddenly out of left field after 1.0 release. You had two years to make this change. Why on earth? Did you not put this in early access for testing? Now you're testing this live and you're going to get like these recent review comments. New players going to be like, we didn't buy this. We didn't buy this game for this change. Right? That I mean, the developers are in their right to make balanced changes, but I do not feel this is a balanced change issue. 
This game has been working fine for two years. This is not a balance change issue, right? There are certain things that's like balance, which I can say, yeah, okay, that's a balance issue, but this is not one of them. Their complaint is they're trying to solve a complaint. They think that players move houses and villagers around too much and that that is something that they want to avoid. Well, you move people around anyways all the time, right? You move people around, you know, with woodcutters, you know, in and out. You move people in and out of whatever, you know, farming, right? I, I don't buy their excuse. If their excuse is in, you know, in preparation for the DLC, save it for the DLC. It's exactly like the species change. They're trying to save that for the DLC, right? Or trying to make that change now so that when the DLC comes out, that's going to be something they'll, they'll add. But I don't agree with this particular change. And this is a very risky business move because you're going to, like this, this person said, right? You're going to alienate your player base. And that's my worry. My I dread is I wake up and see the reviews be bad. And everybody basically said exactly what I have said. Now, here's the thing. I have been playing in games and lots of games, streaming lots of games and seeing reviews and how these things these changes impact other games like i've i you know core keeper they've changed some fundamentals like the whole the suddenly one day the developers decide to add durability massive backlash they had to walk that back they scrambled within that week that they threw the durability change they had to like compromise their ideas and walk back so many of the durability changes uh because suddenly they're they're their scores started tanking that week and mixed reviews. I literally saw this and this was during early access too. They haven't even released that game. So just from my experience from that example, you know, alone is something I see is going to be a problem with Against the Storm. I mean, we already saw an example of that when they did the whole, like I said, 100% uh, buff to, to lasting Storm longer. But a lot of times developers are kind of tunnel vision. I'm just saying this, I, you know, I, I don't want to say bad things about it against the storm developers, but they can easily get into a tunnel vision and lose perspective of their player base because they don't play the game as, as, as often. Right. Or they're just basically at this point, like veteran players, like, we need, we need to mix the game up and make it more exciting. Well, you can do that in other ways. Why don't you work on things like the tree grid, what a lot of people complain about, right? The player base really wants something better for trees because the tree micromanagement is really annoying. I, I don't I don't understand why trees is the lowest priority for them. They're coming out with like stuff that just shouldn't be the top of the list of the priority. I just don't understand that. Like this whole blight post thing. Like why was this necessary? when you just do the same thing with a new blight post. Well, okay, look, they did they did at least listen to feedback and made these costs cheaper. It's no longer parts, it's no longer tools. I appreciate them making this less. This is one this is less. This is actually good. I wouldn't really particularly choose any of these rows here, but they did make it enticing by at least changing this. And that's now the second tier. So I'm, I'm very appreciative that they actually started listening to these feedbacks. Cause this was, this was feedback that was like two patches or one patch ago, right? This is the last patch, 1.2. And everyone was complaining about this and they tried to fix it. And this is our second iteration of the fix. They did fix this because last, like last week I was like, I wouldn't buy this. I had I made a fuss about the whole cost. And I made a point of these things being really shitty because all of them, all of them was related to workers. And workers is not a problem during the storm. You want to give something enticing like this, where you get extra yield chance, right? That's good. This is still shitty. I, I don't even know why they didn't think about this still, but this is a shitty, 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 basically, perk. They actually added this uh, in, in this update. And they, well, I used to say 5%, and they tweaked it also to 10%. But anyways, uh, they made it now, it requires workers, which I I don't understand why that is a thing. Um, so I, I gave all my feedback for this. This should be scrapped completely or revert back to the original. There's no reason to take this, right? If you can take this. 
this is no there's no reason to take this this is manpower right so anyways just commenting on, on at least they changed something that that they listen to feedback but the other areas of feedback is like the the trees so many people have been bugging them about trees so i i don't, I don't understand what's going on with the trees you know what i mean I mean, I can understand them holding off on the fishing content or whatever it is, or, or not doing the fishing content because it might be too much work. But if you look at their feedback suggestion, even though the fishing content may not be number one, it's number two now because the rose is actually the number one request. I agree with the, the number one request, by the way. The roads, this has been a thing that people have been asking for for the longest time, right? So the roads, when you have roads like this, and then let's say you decide to, or I don't need that example. Let's say, okay, look. So let's say I want to replace this with with uh, stones, right? I go like this. See how it just deletes a regular, regular? I'm like, why, why would you delete this? Like it hasn't been delivered, it hasn't been constructed. Why should I lose my current bonus for something that hasn't even been constructed yet? They shouldn't do that, right? That is a complaint, right? I believe that is the number one request. So now I have to like cancel that and I lost basically my road. And now I go like this, they have to rebuild it again. That, obviously I agree with being the number one change, right? Or, or like you had, you already had initially paved roads and then suddenly you want the paved road back and you want path. Well, the paved road should still be there until you actually change the path, right? Why delete the paved roads right away? That is, that is a very weird mechanic. I don't know why that, that hasn't been changed yet. That still hasn't been added into the next update. That's been sitting there as a number one request. So I don't know, sometimes they don't, they ignore the number one request for, for whatever reason. Maybe it's too hard to implement. But, okay, so here's my other point about the, the fishing or water content or whatever it is, right? If you, if you combined, because the fishing and water content and lakes, uh, everything related to water has been posted on their threads or their suggestion board, and it's spread out to be between multiple threads. So we're not just talking about one. So the number one or number two is actually pretty substantial, but then it's like four, four suggestions down, you get water content request, right? So if you add the four, the fourth slot with the second slot, that is by far the number one. And then there's like a bunch of other water related content further down the, the, the list, right? So my point is multiple people have suggested the same type of content. If you tally it all up, it is technically the most number one by far request. So I, I don't know. And I, they keep telling me that, no, they're not going to do fishing and that it's, it's never going to happen. Maybe, maybe they, they're, they're trying to say no so that the hype and the rumor doesn't spread. Go buy Rod and, and find a creek IRL. What the fuck is with casual gamers? No, no, no. Some of, some of the fishing content, water-related stuff is pretty valid in terms of their ideas. Um, you know, the, just you know, just adding water and having other things to to use on water buildings or water, um, I, I you know, like lakes or what. It's just, it's basically it's all I lump it all together because they're very similar, right? Having an additional uh, food food source, right, is is cool. I mean, a lot of games have fish fishing stuff in there. Um, a lot of games have fishing content in there. I I like the idea of mixing it up, right? Having additional food source would make it dynamic. But I can understand if it's if it's you know added into the DLC. I'm not worried about that. 
I'm not gonna be harping on the the fishing content because that is something that they could do as a brand new thing. One lizard for every 25 eggs produced. That's one, right? But I don't have any eggs. No, I don't have any eggs. I do need 10 lizards, though. Pretty all this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, very nice. Look at that. Perfect roll. I need lizards, right? I also need to kill a bunch of people. Ash. Take that. Well, actually, I probably should take that first. See what that is. I'll be mad if it's a kiln. Seller. A free butcher right there. No, we're not gonna get 12 humans. Alright, this is very good actually. Yeah, what do you think frogs' speciality will be? Do you think they'll make any specialization or just give them a combo of pre-existing? I don't know. I, I think that, well, they, okay, well, yes. I think that they will give the, something new. Hey, Khan, welcome back. Appreciate that. Yeah, Khan is a perfect example of a casual-ish player who has been playing on and off against the Storm. He was one of our Against the Storm winners, Game Key winners. And it's just an example of somebody who would probably not like this plus one change, or, or the, the plus two nerf down to one. He's just starting to get the hang of playing and completing a seal. And he's picked up some some strategies of his own about plus the the plus two thing here. And I can tell you because I I get you know DMs from Khan a lot when he asks me like how to do things, and I'll give him tips or he'll ask questions on how to do things. I'll give him tips, right? And I can tell you he's probably not gonna like this change all of a sudden. It will be a shocker for him all of a sudden when the one point. Aha! Uh -huh, thanks. Yeah. See. So I, I just know some of my player base, my viewer base, right? And how they'll react to certain things. And I, I can tell you, like, this is not something that new players or even casual players are going to be happy with. Anyways, I'm done harping over that. Whatever. If you guys agree, disagree, feel free to drop your comments in live chat now. Or when you're watching this on YouTube next week. Because I'm, well, no, it would be next week. Probably this weekend, right? Yeah, I have like one, two, well, actually, probably tomorrow, right? This VOD should be up on, on Friday. Or Saturday, right? Friday or Saturday. Shut up and pay attention to the game before I lose again. Hmm. It's gonna be a while till I get this. I mean, I can wait on the butcher to get a free reroll, or I spend the money and reroll now. I mean, this does pickle goods, right? And do I have containers? No, right? Yeah. Is there anything I need off this chick? I start trading. 
Christ, these are terrible. Jesus Christ, these are terrible. Oh my god, these are terrible. Yeah, how long does it take usually for you to finish a town game? It was about two hours. Give or take. If, uh, depending on if I'm focused and playing and not talking about nonsense and pausing all the time. I've had pretty short runs on my YouTube channel. And I, I'm sorry for those watching on YouTube listening to some of these nonsense rants not related to the game. But you are watching now the Experimental Branch run. FYI. So this is not the usual walkthrough. Yeah, I've noticed you're like a, a, a three-hour Andy laughing my yeah. Some of the stuff, but yeah, you can go on YouTube and see the the hours there. Should be should be two hours, is average two and a half. The ones that are three hours and four hours, it's either it's super hard. It was a super hard run, or I was talking bullshit nonsense stuff that probably most of you guys don't care about. Oh yeah, so so yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, in the middle of what I was reading, <laughs> going back to what the developer said, hey, we will have an eye on this, which which um, I didn't even finish the rest of his comment. Uh, he's referring to this change, by the way. God, I'm like sidetracked. Um, so he's the developers are saying they're gonna keep an eye out on this when it goes live, which I don't agree on. That's where I got off on the tangent. I didn't get to read the rest of the thing that he said. This is inside information. There are still some buffs in other areas for 1.3 and some other things coming in the future that might make up for this. So they might, they're they probably not going to test it out, but they may release some additional things that will offset this problem. Because as I pointed out, not having that plus two is kind of a big deal. It's, you know, it may not seem like a big deal, but it is a big deal. There's so many examples of that. Um, so, uh, we're looking at needs, for example, and some players have correctly pointed out that Flower might be a bit underpowered. And I think Colorful Sun Bear earlier, when he mentioned Flower, that triggered me to remember to read this comment to you guys. So if you're looking for inside scoop, this is why you're watching my stream, right? This is why you follow me. You want to get these inside scoops. We're looking at needs, for example, and some players have correctly pointed out that flower might be a bit underpowered. But if, uh, but if this won't be enough, right? They might tweak the flower thing. But if this won't be enough, then we will try to find a better solution to this whole plus one nonsense, right? That's in, what in my reference to the difficulty curve. So that's the content we wanted. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I'm giving you. I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually pogging so hard as they buff flower. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I can provide my amazing viewers this inside knowledge from the developers. This is what I've been telling them. Right? I keep telling developers all the time. I love it when you give me nuggets to share with my viewers. Because that's why they like watching my stream and getting these inside information. Yeah, I'm currently in the camp that thinks Flower is OP. You think Flower is OP? They think Flower is underpowered. Like trade good so hard? Interesting. Hmm. Well... I don't know. I do think I do think Flower is slightly underpowered as well because there's so much involved to getting Flower to, to the, like a Flower recipe, and I think it only adds like five points, right? And then you look at something like 
Like pickle goods. It should be on the same level as pickle goods, right? Or at least eight or seven or six or something, right? Five is five is on the same level. Almost as four. And this five I think is fine. Skewers is fine for five. But um Pies and biscuits, I think, could go up to maybe seven. I think I would say this could go up to seven. Even eight, maybe. I don't know what pie is, actually. It says five right there, max bonus. It says five. You have it here, right? It says five. Not eight. Unless they nerfed it. I forgot the numbers. Okay, I see flower being weak, right? Yeah, see flower five points? That's like one point above jerky, and I don't feel like that is that is good enough. I mean if you look at pickle goods, eight points? Skewers is five? I mean you're on the same level as skewers, right? So yeah, biscuits and uh pies should be buffed. Usually sitting on like 30 packs of trade goods. Okay. Alright, so one for four is not a bad deal. One for four is actually a very good deal. I can sell all of it. That should give me what, 45? Oh, sorry, 25. 20. Five for three is not. Do we have any more stones anywhere else yet? We do have stones, right? I'm trying to get my three trade routes out of the way. I don't know if I want to get rid of the stones, though. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. It's, 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 sorry, it's not a good deal. I'm not worried too much about the storm because we actually got we bought the the corruption level should I just need four more vill villagers or sorry four more lizards right What else did I get? Apothecary. I'll do it. It's fine. I'll spend it anyway. I'll leave it. Paying attention instead of rambling on bullshit. Yeah, I, the tree thing I think should be one of their top priorities. It's a, one of those things that a lot of people ask for. I don't know why they're messing around with the hub system. No one asked for that. No one said anything about it. No one's complained about hubs. Why hubs is a thing on their radar is baffling to me. Maybe they could share more insight on that. 
besides saying that we notice people juggle a lot. We don't want that. I mean, juggling is the whole entire point of the game, right? Thank you, Con. I appreciate the cheer, the bits. Yay! The biddies! Bitty biddies. I'm not gonna lie, the hubs are boring, having to place the same building over and over, parks and gardens. Yeah, I agree with that too. They really need to mix this up because I'm placing the same park over and over. I mean, sure, I can place these down, but these are like one units. You have to do that four times. So if they mix this up with some more decorations, that'll be great. Change up the garden a little bit more, right? These are the only two 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 by twos. At least like this has two options, right? And that makes it a little bit more colorful. But yeah, I agree. They, they should at least... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's something that they should invest their time in, right? Making decorations. Because they're, they're all about the decorations, right? They're all about the aesthetics, right? Because the corner trees look way too ugly, right? This corner diagonal tree right here. Oh my god, it's too ugly. We don't want to remove that for free. We want players to manually select that. And then they had to make it more complicated by having this little cursor as a solution. I'm like, well, you know, why don't you just fix the original problem, right? Why don't you just fix the original problem? Like, the color code really doesn't really matter either. Like, I wouldn't care about this color if they had actually just highlighted this. The only reason the color thing is the big deal is... I want to know if I actually selected that or not. That's all it is. Like, I, I just don't understand. They're just adding features and solutions that doesn't really solve the original problem. The original problem is, is this right here, right? When I go like this, control, it removes my highlight. So I'm having to re-highlight it. And then I go back and I control all, all around, right? Just so I avoid the glade opening. And then I accidentally move it over here and then that gets removed. That's just my rant right there. They just need to fix that diagonal tree. And they said, oh, this is the bottom of their list. And hey, look, I'm a programmer as well. I know what I used to work at a company doing maintenance work, reading other programmers code and fixing code, uh, cleaning up code after another programmer's code, and I also worked on a development team for a brand new game, right? This, this right here, is an easy fix. Easy fix. This is not like you need to involve a graphics artist, you don't need to involve a sound guy, you don't need to involve anybody. You just fix this with a couple of lines of code. Maybe even one line of code. Right? One line of code. What game did I work on? I worked on a lot of games that were multi massive multiplayer games. Um, if you've ever heard of GameStorm, have you ever heard of, well, I'm giving away my age pretty much <laughs> based on like companies I've worked on. I've worked on a, uh, a company at uh, Kesmai Corporation, GameStorm Studios. They were owned by News Corp. Uh, Fox, uh, Rupert Murdoch. Fo uh, Rupert Murdoch owns uh, Fox Network, basically. News Corp is the parent company. If you Google this and look it up, I worked on a lot of the multiplayer games that was there. They were also a publisher. Um, they do in-house games, and they publish games for like AOL, Genie, Prodigy Services, all the dial-up companies back in the days who had like a... Uh, you know, mail that you can get access to. They offered like games in addition to the ma the regular services or internet. Um, so those were the the games back in the days that was online based until Ultima Online came out. Ultima Online competed with some of the online massive multiplayer games that my company at the time were, uh, did. Um, that was the biggest game changer, and then. EverQuest came out, which is a visual, also a visual interface on top of like, so all these games back in the days, long, long time ago, 
some of the older role-playing games were text-based, right? And so the company eventually ported it to a graphical interface, right? And then we got to a point where we had licenses. Uh, well, obviously because the company was News Corp. We had license to Godzilla, Aliens and Predators, uh, Starship Troopers, right? And I uh, also had we also had a uh, license to the BattleTech FASA, right? The name of the company that that owned it. So I worked on BattleTech 2030. Uh, there was other a bunch of other games that I worked on. It was like Air Warrior, uh, Stellar Emperor. Legends of Kesmai, Air Warrior 1, Air Warrior 2. It's a, it a long list of games, right? And then they started publishing for other small indie companies that wanted to be a part of our network. Um, I was only involved in those based on the uh, company-wide beta testing. They actually have their own in-house beta testers. It was like a separate building in another wing that had in-house beta testers. So literally you, you got guys, and these were like teenagers, you know, simple poppers sitting in the test house, test bay, getting paid like minimum wage playing video games for the company. Uh, but yeah, I got to walk through that wing and it was really cool seeing all the other testers. But every once in a while when they get like a big license, like Godzilla, it's like everybody in the studio, everybody in the company had to stop what they were doing, get log in, and either play as the Marines or play as the baby Godzillas running around as an example, or when we had aliens and predators or Marines and predator, or Marines and aliens, I think it was. It was. I don't think they did aliens versus predator as a uh, MMO. Uh, but Starship Troopers was one of them. It was, it was basically they had an engine, and they just used an IP, and they had variations of these little verses, right? You sound young. I sound young. Yeah, that's what everyone says. But I am, I am very old. Very very old. My first controller, my first console is Pong. My first computer was a Commodore VIC-20, which uses a tape deck and uh, cassette tapes to save data on. Except for I was too poor at the time, so I didn't actually have one of these um, one of these tape drives. And so when I had to play a game, and I probably might have told the story once or twice before in the past two years, three years. So in my days, what I uh, what I had to do for fun, besides Pong, which was not very, which was not very thrilling. There was only so many variations of Pong. It was like tennis and and table, whatever. Anyways, so the most interesting thing was I had to go to the library um, and check out programming books, basic for the Commodore VIC twenty, to figure out how to program little games like, it's kind of like a missile game, like Space Invader-ish variation, clone of that. And so I would program in these little stupid shooter games or asteroids or shit falling from the sky and and my I have a little thing at the bottom that shoots it, right? These are the little games that I would have to program from a book that I got the library, right? And since I can't um, save each of these programs, I would actually write up or photocopy these books from the library and save the code. So each time I wanted to play, I would have to type every single one of these lines of code onto the Commodore VIC-20. Now the shitty thing is like if the power goes out or, or mom decides to unplug the computer because she has to plug in the vacuum cleaner, right? That's, that's not pirating. <laughs> That's not pirating. They give away these codes for free, and I actually copied crib on little index cards, crib sheets, right? I would copy these little codes into little index cards, and so I would actually be able to quickly type in these codes whenever I wanted to play the game. And then later, at some point, I got an Atari 2600 when it was under 50 bucks. 
Well, actually, I had the original one before the under 50 bucks too from a yard sale. And I got, I started playing Atari 2600 games. But yeah, you wouldn't have downloaded a car, Ron. You would take your, uh, Ron would take your coat. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. No. That was my experience growing up with playing games. Yeah, I guess I'll take I need this thing. And two. No. Need more lizards, right? Yeah, I'll buy this. Is there anything else I need to buy off this chick? No, right? I need this one. Yep, being too poor and having, not having a tape deck. So eventually, I uh, got a uh, PC. One of the very older first PC was the uh, XT, uh, X86 XT computers, and I had uh, relatives that worked at a, um, a computer shop. They would actually assemble these computers, um, made to order computers or whatever it is. And one of them, not a friend of the family, friend of the family, who was an expert at putting together computers, uh, started putting together a computer for me and helping me put it to get, uh, put a computer together. And so I started watching over his shoulder and learning everything about building computers. And eventually I, I got to the point where I just custom bought parts to build whatever the hell I wanted. And I had discounts at the time, so it was really nice. And then eventually I worked at CompUSA as well, which is a computer store. The fact that you can actually know what a library is for a long... Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess I did date myself, huh? I don't think anyone goes to libraries anymore. Uh -huh. That is true, I did date myself. Significantly. Yeah, what's the age demographic of Ron viewers? I don't know. I am very curious. What is the age demographic? How old are you guys? I mean, my heroes back in the days, okay, were producers and game developer, game designers. Um, those were my heroes. And I was fortunate enough to work at a game company where my heroes actually worked there. They were pretty cool, and one of them actually was um, was my boss, who got eventually promoted to be the president of the studio. Because the other guy got promoted to become the general manager. Um, at the time, okay, so right before I was, I left the company, there was rumors and buzz about how we were going to get like a Star Trek IP license and everyone was excited about producing a Star Trek game. Um, I was, that was the only reason why I stuck around. Eventually that didn't pan out and the company got bought out uh, uh, by EA. I don't feel too bad for not sticking around. But I did have relationships with the company afterwards because they hired me as a freelancer uh, producing Shockwave Games tutorials for their their website for some of their games. And then I, you know, I went to work for the government. And I, you, I, you guys already heard my government stories at this point, right? What are you God. You haven't heard my government story? Oh, oh. Okay, well. I'll think about telling you it again, maybe. 
Maybe not on the stream. I've told the government story where I, I have top secret clearance, above top secret clearance, working on like the B-22s and stuff. And I've actually had a few viewer or viewer chime in on my YouTube channel because he was just casually watching my VODs as he usually does. And then suddenly I, one day I'm talking about my government work and he's like, oh, I know that. Like I used to work on one of those and he was just like saying, hey, respect and all this stuff and he knew he knew what exactly what I was talking about I'm not just whipping out stories or giving you tall tales or fibs right and by the way have you seen Frostpunk 2 yes I have I've been watching a little bit of that form Steam form is a shit show people are not happy how the game is different oh really kind of like the channel pirate software used to work as a hacker for the energy sector oh okay yeah Yeah, I just don't want to dox myself, because there are things that... Not a good idea to dox myself. I've had some crazy... Crazy fans in the other areas that I, I work on. And then I used to be a guild master of a, a WoW guild, and... Yeah, that was... I've had stalker girls. Stalker girl, um, you know, <laughs> showing up at my door, or not my door personally, but my, um, my gate, because I, I used to live in a gated community and ringing the bell saying, hey, you know, we just wanted to stop by and say hi, these chicks. I'm like, you know, don't, don't show up uninvited. It's like, that's weird, right? Just looking me up and like finding out my dress and shit like that. It's like, that's just weird. It's terrifying. Yeah, and these these were girls, right? These were girls. Not that I'm afraid of girls. They were hot, okay? But I just think that that's not that's not appropriate, right? These young kids. Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't matter, right? I don't take advantage of people, so it's just it's just I just think that's not appropriate. It it violates privacy. Like, if I invite them over, or if they just say, hey, you know, uh, let's have a guild meet. Cool, right? Um, or a public place, right? I mean, once maybe if I get to know them and I understand that they're not crazy psycho girls, right? Then sure, but... I mean, I've, I've had meet and greets with some of my fellow guild members before where they're from out of town. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. We'll meet up at a uh, karaoke bar and let's hang out. But when they start showing up at my gate and door and wanting to hang out just because I have a fancy, super awesome pad, um, that's just not cool, right? Yeah, it could be hot. It could be a hot in a rapist. <laughs> a hot rapist. Yeah, it's true. Exactly. Girls are scary. I can tell you that. I have many stories to tell you because I'm so old. Like, I, I've dated strippers. And, um... Film stars. <laughs> Different kinds of film stars. All sorts of film stars. Mainstream film stars. You know, saga listed film stars, and then the you know the other kind of film stars that's been on, uh, you know, after dark channels. Girls are scary, Iran twenty twenty four. Yeah, girls are scary. Trust me, I can tell you this. Like I dated a girl who I learned stabbed her ex, the guy before me who is a bouncer at a club that she worked at and she keyed his car and this is a bouncer who he's he's a pretty I know this dude too he was a pretty buff scary dude well he was not scary but he is definitely pretty buffed and he actually ditched town you know just so that he can get away from this chick right Yes, I actually have dated movie stars too, but I don't want to brag too much. I don't want to dox myself. That's not a. It's not. That part I don't want to. You know, I don't. I don't brag about body counts. I don't like to do that. That's not a thing. 
Um, but yes, I, I will drop this. I have dated bang girls that Charlie Sheen has has gotten into before he has gotten into them. How about that? Um, so that could narrow down some of the girls, I guess. It's a long list of girls, so I guess I guess you won't be able to find out who, since that list is pretty long. But yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, he's he's after that girl. But yeah. Anyways, uh, crazy girls, right? This girl, crazy, crazy stripper girl. Domestic violence. Like the neighbor downstairs actually had to call the cops, and she had, she had a DUI. She's got a warrant out for her arrest, okay? And so she was really drunk, okay? So one day, she, you know, we got into, like, you know, some argument. Because I told her, like, look, you got to not constantly open my Coke cans from the refrigerator, take a sip, and leave it on the table after two sips. And every, like, 20 minutes, you're opening a brand new can of Coke. That's wasteful, I told her, right? And then she got, like, all you know, violent, and then throwing Coke cans at me, right? And that was ridiculous, and some of these Coke cans landed on the neighbor floor downstairs, and it was like an argument and everything. She started going nuts. I said, look, just relax, okay? You know, and and uh, the chick downstairs decided to call the cops, and then she climbed out the fire escape, because I used to live in an artist district, a loft, right? The, it was right across the street. The street from a strip club, Spearmont Rhino in, in downtown LA, and a gated community, by the way. And there's a fire escape on the side of my loft. There's an artist loft. It's kind of like if you ever watched the movie uh, Bigs, right, with Tom Hanks. Um, hang on, I need to do food. Apparently, food is a problem now. I need to pay attention to the game instead of like telling you these dumb stories. But yeah, have you ever seen the movie Biggs? Well, that was one of my favorite movies, by the way. And where he uh, he had like a loft, like a giant studio. It was kind of like that. I owned one of those type of, or I didn't own. I actually rented one of those penthouses. And the the artist right next to me was a big time artist in LA and he doesn't even live in that studio he's got like a mansion in Santa Barbara and uh, I I was fortunate enough to live next to him because he's a really nice generous guy very cool guy um, so he wasn't actually a problem and he never had a problem and he always very nosy also he likes to hang out at my loft and the thing is the um, the loft studio that I had was very big and wide. You can literally rollerblade in my loft, sort of like exactly how, how Tom Hanks did it in, in the movie. And all the girls usually like hanging out at my pad. That's why they always want to come over, right? Um, I shouldn't be saying this because now I'm going to get stalker girls again. Um, so that's probably why some of these guild member chicks wanted to like show up at my place. Um. So yeah, the this chick here just loves hanging out at my place, and then she just started like creating like an argument argument with me, and then the, the neighbor downstairs, the other artist downstairs, was like, you know, I'm calling the police or whatever it is, and she started climbing out the fire escape, running away, and I've got all these bruises because she's like trying to like wrestle me, and I didn't want to hit her or any in other way, right? Because like you know you don't you don't hit girls. That's just the thing. And even if you, even if I got into any arguments with her, right, I avoid the face, because she, she was, you know, obviously a dancer and model, magazine model, whatever it is, right? And she just, I just know that, hey, her career is being, being attractive. It would just be not right to have any scars on her face, right, or scratches or whatever, right? So I, just, I just basically said, well, I'm not even. I'm just gonna take it as a punch bag. I'm well, not. I didn't take it like a punch bag. I tried to wrestle her down, pin her to the ground, 
But point was, this was domestic violence. I ended up getting most of the bruises. And when the cops showed up and the, the firemen, they were like, okay, we need to take pictures of this. And they filed, I did not file this, okay? I did not file this to the the LA district, um, the whatever the, the LA DA or whatever it is, right? So they filed, somebody filed like a uh, restraining order on this chick, right? And they issued it to her and me. She ha She's not allowed to come near me. And it was like a two year period or whatever it is, right? This is crazy shit. We're in crazy territory. That's why I can tell you like these crazy stories. This is much more interesting than the government job, by the way. The, the, the top secret stuff that I can't tell anybody stuff about. Okay, this is a heart three, this is your four. I need to give him food and I need to give him a house. Lon told her that she only worth 150 cents coke and not two and three open or, the, or one girl thought she was worth two dollars. Hey man, I love a good story. Yeah, these these are interesting stories. Very interesting stories. I think I need to start killing people. My hostility is too high. Damn, not even a two dollar horror. <laughs> oh boy. Just kidding. Uh crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. That's I can tell you a lot of crazy stories. So here's the other thing, guys, and I, I've told this story once before at least. Just once, I think, maybe twice. I don't think I've told it many times. Tips and tricks. Um When you date one stripper, you literally date like almost their 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 little inner circle of friends and strippers are for the most part most of them not all of them i will i will say because i've dated a lot not all of them are are the same there are different different ones but a lot of them are gold diggers you date one she's with ron she dumps ron next thing i know like a bunch of other her other friends or kind of friends semi friends finds out they're looking for an, for another friend, if you, if you want to get my drift. So, yeah, so the, the, the thing is, once you get, you know, once once you slide in with one stripper, you're going to be dan- You're, you're going to be getting other strippers. Not, you know, which is really interesting. I've learned that, actually. How do I get more? Oh, I know what it is. It's food. Food. Food is killing me. I guess I'll give that for now, I guess, until they do something. It's gonna be a while till I get the butcher, isn't it? It is gonna be a while. I need a second food building. I'm gonna take this. Ooh, a small farm. I'll take it. Perfect. Yeah, you're a sly old fox, yeah. I kind of know the ins and outs these days. I mean, there was a reason. Sometimes you gotta give them a reason to want to... to get to know you, right? Um... And I had reasons. I mean, I did tell you guys the story about me getting lap dances from a stripper who was into World of Warcraft, and and she learned that I was a uh, guild master, right? This is how you get into girls' pants, right? You got to be a guild master of some World of Warcraft guild, 
And then they're gonna wanna... They're gonna wanna get in your pants, right? Yeah. That's- this is truth. This is- this is not- this is not a lie. This is not a fake story. This is true. I was a guild master for World of Warcraft. I, we had a large guild, one of the most popular guilds. It was number two. We weren't number one. We were number two on the server. Uh, we were competing as with the number one guild, but they always somehow managed to down these bosses before we did. So we, so my guild was one of the number two guilds. Actually, we were number three until another number one guild moved off the server. So we moved up to be number two. All right. So being the a guild master back in the days of Vanilla WoW, when it just first came out, by the way. And I also had an early beta key because I knew some people who had access to the game before it got released. But anyways, story here is that I was a guild master because I knew had experience with the game before it released. I knew the ins and outs of raids. And so when you have a raiding guild, raiding, you know, MC bosses, molten core bosses, right? Everyone wanted to be in your guild. Everyone wanted to be in your 40 man raids. And back in the days, right? We had, I think it was like 200 pop count for the guild max limit, or 250 or something like that. It was really low then. And my vent discord, basically, it's not discord, it's vent, ventrilo back in the days, was the voice over IP, voice over IP um, software for getting people together in a room to do raids. And so I was a guild master and also raid leader and I would call the shots on who gets to go into the raid or not, right? Maybe that's why these girls show up at my door stalking me and wanting to be all friendly, because they want to get in on the, the raid, right? So if any of you guys know what the hell I'm talking about, then you're, congratulations, you're old enough, right? Vent good times. All right, so some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, that's that was the thing, right? So I was big shot guild master, raid master, and so when I, I was stressed out, like dealing with raids, if you guys remember what it was like, if any of you have ever played World of Warcraft raids and being in a guild, it was very stressful. There was guild drama, who gets certain loots and points and who gets to be the, the main tank and who gets to be in charge of the healer group or whatever bullshit, right? And then why did so-and-so get the loot and we're the damage dealers or whatever bullshit, right? Or we're always showing up consistently and we're your main so I think the main guys, so this is all bullshit dramas I had to deal with back in the days, right? Very valid concerns, but they were not, you know, they're just virtual concerns. And then sometimes I would deal with like real life issues where some people were, were fighting against each other, you know, IRL, and then they come on to guild and they just, you know, rub off their real life shit into the guild. And so I'm having to like, you know, sort out these bullshit dramas. So I'm stressed as a guild master. And so the only thing I wanted to do was go to a strip club, you know, re release some tension, relax, not think about World of Warcraft, and just have a nice lap dance, you know, with some boobies in my face, right? And just some girl, you know, that's it, right? That's all I wanted, right? That's just all I wanted, just to go to a strip club and relax. Needless to say, I, you know, the girls, you know, they always have, like, you know, dancers who always want a conversation, like, what do you do? You know, how are you doing? How was your day? And shit like that. And I'm like, well, you know, I do this. It's my job. But mainly since I'm super loaded and my business is blooming and my business creates passive income that I actually don't have to manage and I hire people. So I tell them that and I just play World of Warcraft. That's all I do, right? I'm a guild master of this guild. And oh my God, the one I picked happened to be into world of warcraft she has a she's all about her elf hunter she's all about the horde she's like you know for the horde faction she's an elf um dark elf whatever the night elf night elf faction right night elf faction hunter and she's all like trying to impress me showing you off of her warcraft night elf dance moves right and uh and here it is, like, I'm just, she's just talking about how she loves her bear or whatever it is and the pets that she's tamed, the, um, whatever, the, the tiger, whatever, the white tiger in, uh, Warcraft, right? The blood elf. No, well, there was blood elf, um, 
Was it Blood Elf or the... No, no, yeah, the Blood Elf, right? The Blood Elf faction, sorry. Thank you. It's the Blood Elf was on the Horde side. Which, whatever was on the Horde side. Not the, uh, the Elf. I think the Elf is on the human side. Yes, correct. The Elf was on the human side. It was the Blood Elf on the Horde side. And so she's just going off about, like, all of her pets that she's tamed. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Her Draenei, you know, dance move or whatever the hell, right? Yes, Night Elf is Alliance, Blood Elf is Horde. I remember now. So, just thank you for, for correcting me. It's been a long time. I don't play World of Warcraft anymore. I'm so tired of it. I played that for like 10, 15 years. And I just stopped playing that. And uh, so this chick here... Uh, she's constantly talking about her pets. And she's like grinding on my lap. Just like, you know, going on about like all of her Warcraft stuff. And I'm just like, I just want a lap dance. And trying to not think about Warcraft. And please, just keep grinding. But don't, you know, stop talking about... I mean, I just didn't want to say any of that. I was trying to be polite, right? Uh, if she, if that, that gets her, you know, happy, you know, then yeah, sure, whatever. The next thing I know, right, eventually, you know, she, I, I get to know her outside the club. She hangs out at my loft or whatever. She's in my guild. She's waiting for her turn to get into the, uh, the raid. You know, shut up. I'm just trying to get, cream my jeans. <laughs> exactly, right? I didn't want to say that, but, you know, you get the drift. You get the idea. Mm. All right, we'll have to figure out the lizards later. I need to get this. I really need to get that. I'm not paying attention to this game very well. It's like year four, and I need to kill off people here before year eight ends, right? Yeah, the day in the life of a guild master raid pimp. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoops. Yeah. Bad word, yeah, it's alright, no worries. I, I let slide. I'm not too picky about these things. But yeah, that's my story on how you pick up strippers. Find one that's into World of Warcraft. So yeah, okay, so here's the thing. I went to a different strip club instead, because I didn't want to go back to that one. Lo and behold, I met another stripper who happens to be a disciplined priest in a guild called the Gentleman Club or the Gentleman's Guild or something. I, it's just weird. And she was a, uh, the priest, the healer, right? The healer, the lead healer of their raid. Weird, very weird. Same shit. Same shit. Everywhere I go, there's always a stripper that plays World of Warcraft. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture of her in my wallet. Lizards. I don't know how we're going to solve this problem. I think we need to get rid of beavers. Because I need to get rid of people anyways for the quest. Twenty-five. That should solve this. 
and then a few more for water, right? And then I need to get five crops. And then I need to get more water, you said. Alright, that's fair. You know, good luck with the settlement, my man. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna uh, be back later. Finally quitting time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear you. No need. No need to hang around. But yeah, thank you for hanging out and listening to my uh, dumb stories. of where that plus one could make a difference. And the plus two would have made a difference at this point in time. But also because maybe I'm not paying attention to the game. Yeah, that's why I'm here, huh? <laughs> Icon, thank you. For the dumb stories. Thank you for that, appreciate it. Yeah, so if you want to get into strippers' pants, play World of Warcraft. A lot of them actually play. True. And they just want to get in on the raid, right? Slide into the DM or the GM's, uh, you know, channel and get in on the raids. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I mean, this is like old school stuff. But yeah, fun times. I don't know if you can do that anymore. 80 rainwater values a good soul. Clay? Yeah, clay. Ooh, clay or yeah, herbs for minutes. Minutes. God, I needed to. Ooh, rainwater. I definitely want that. More time. More time is more important. Let's get by. Yeah, maybe bot soon. I guess people have AI girlfriends and boyfriends now. Maybe bot soon. Oh. Maybe that's the future. It's kind of scary. Kind of scary. Burn 24. I don't know if I'll burn 24 before the year 8 ends. Great rounds. Any pack of provision or pack of building material or pack of crops, right? Pack of crops. These buildings look so alike. Yeah. All right, I need a T. 
two lizards. And I need that to 22, right? Like the other one. And then 27 seconds. Really want that. 15. If I can get down to three. I could get the all of it. Dull it down. Fifteen. We're almost there with this one. Yep, we're almost there to that one. I get that higher. Yeah, so needless to stay, I kind of stay away from girls these days. They're scary. Girls are scary. I think most of them like do OFs or something these days. It's either they're streaming or they've got some OF account going or some YouTube channel. I think that's the new thing. I got the buy it. Huh? Yeah, any girl viewers? I don't know. See, see. No, I'm pretty sure there's there's Aquin. Where's Aquin today? Now we do have female viewers. Not all females are strippers. Girl gamers. We gotta wait on it. You know, there are no females on the internet. No females. Only 4chan rules. No, that's not true. There are a lot of females. I happen to know a lot of females, so. I mean, I had some females here from my old guild play Diablo with me earlier. I don't know if you guys remember when I was streaming Diablo 4, she was on here earlier. Well, she wasn't crazy, though. She wasn't one of the list of crazy girls. Well, I, wouldn't, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> she was not a part of the group that showed up at my door, but I will have to say she apparently figured out my birthday 
and wish me happy birthday, which is kind of weird. One day. I'm like, how did you find out my birthday? Maybe she she got it from one of my other friends in the guild or something, the information. But I don't think, yeah, I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch my channel. Otherwise, she'd be saying stuff by now. But yeah, fucking simps, right? These girls, exactly. Now it's time to turn this off. Not actually. Wait. I do need wood though. Where are all the girls now? I ate, I ate. only very few know I actually stream. I try not to let on private information while I'm streaming. Or have like crazy girls know that I'm streaming. That's bad. Then they'll like start doxing me and shit. Water, right? I need storm water. How much is one of those? How do I not have one of those? That's more than I had enough. No. Where do they go? Jesus. I know it. Exactly. There you go. Keep the peace, the pace, go. Yeah, my, uh, back in the days, it's like when you watch Big Bang Theory, right? And how the Big Bang Theory portrays, like, male, you know, like, nerds. It was kind of like that back in the days. It's like, oh my god, a girl, right? When I was in high school. Um. But yeah, I'm over it. That's not a thing anymore for me. What's really interesting, when you live out in L.A., you have access to, like, being next to these live taping studios. I went to, like, four or five live tapings of The Big Bang Theory. It was really fun. One of my friends was a, um, worked at a, worked at a place with another person that he, he knew, the sound guys, right? He knew, uh, I forgot what, who, how he, he met the sound guy that worked in, in the studio for Everyone Loves Raymond, so I got tickets to watch for that too. Really fun getting to see these live tapings. But I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I don't watch I don't watch sitcoms anymore. I feel like they don't do live tapings anymore. Or if there's any good shows. I guess they do still do live tapings, right? Live or you know, sitcoms in front of a studio audience or something. But definitely, like, that's a, an experience that you should always have once in your life. It's really something, watching these live tapings. How they do, like, multiple takes. 
but I was lucky enough to, to, to go with a bunch of those. Big Bang Theory was like really, really hard to get into. There's always a line. And I had like, you know, pre-printed tickets to go in. Really cool. We, we, we didn't get the one with the brick. What's your name? Okay, Butcher. at all Technically, I don't really need I need that one point. Yes, this is an example of where this two-pointer makes a huge difference. I would have already gotten this. We're kind of a struggle here. I feel like this game's harder each update. Yeah, it does make it seem harder. It's it is getting harder for sure. That's why I was saying is like I think new players are not gonna be happy with this these changes. Not not for the new players. I mean I don't mind it too much. It makes it a little bit more challenging for me. Yeah. Alright, I 
can't do this water. Oh, yeah, get off the floor. I gotta get off the three. Bars I don't have a way to make. All right, I need to get into that side of. I need to get another glade open. I'm gonna burn eight white rock. Burn. Didn't burn enough. Or generate enough. on the side. Need another one of these. Or well. And what do you see? Temple or herbalist? Temple. I sold enough. I don't know where I'm going to come up with a wood. That is going to be a problem. Be a problem. Problem. Oh shit, bad idea. Oh, bad idea. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a bad idea. Shit. That was a bad idea. Oh, that was a bad idea. I can't get off of that. What am I going to do for hostility reduction? Shit. That was a bad idea. How do I get rid of the hostility reduction? Somebody has to die. Or I, I can't burn any fuel because I have no fuel. What is this gonna do? Fuck. It was a bad idea. No take backs. I should have waited. I did not think about that. I 
now I am three points off. Where am I gonna get that hostility reduction, guys? I can't burn anything, I don't have enough fuel. I got, what, eight logs? And nothing, nothing, nothing. Not even a little bit. That's something. That means I have to figure out how to pay five times one. I need five packs. I feel it. I need them to just die off. Die already. That's a lot. Oh, they laughed. That's not the same as dying. Oh. Uh, not the same as dying. I forgot. Oh. house three for every ten not great but it's something The year where we need a lot of them. Oh boy. Tools for that one was not bad. But I need it to solve some. I need a break to do something. Blade as well. Well, this should be doable. Four points, right? Ooh. That. 35 seconds. I should... Want that. Toledo. I should take more people in. More people equals more problems. Mm -hmm. 
mean, this guy doesn't have anything I really need. I should wait for this. But attacking this guy health? No. Maybe if I get that. I have to kill off eight people. And win before year eight ends. I'll let him slide. situation at all. Need two, 12 on the other side. That shit. We don't have a way to make sense. But we do have a way to make We have a lot of porn. Some stupid spam caller calling me. Jesus Christ. Four more of that, right? And then... Uh, what's that? 13? 15. 15. 15. 15. Sheesh. 15 of those. This is not gonna help me. They might get lizards happy bonus for a temporary. What else? These are one, two. What else? Brewery, right? I need a monastery. The dealing monastery is a whole thing.
I need to open the DeLorean. Because your sex, right? Uh, Humans. Okay. We need beavers. Can I get to that next level? I guess people. Hey, thank you for that follow there. It's me, Luigi. Um, how you doing? How you doing? Like Joey from Friends. How you doing? Oh, I should have done that. What is this one? Brewery, right? He would, though. Oh, I should be able to get everything. Oh, no, no, no. That's not. Should be able to should be able to get everything. Current go, right? So this current go will give me all of that. Both of them. need the fuel. Might have to let some people die from the storm. I'm okay with that. Yep, I'll let them die from the storm. We just gotta solve one more. Make a difference. Like to make a difference.
for it, so I have to pay, right? To get off the pole, obviously. Otherwise, it'll generate. Can't get off the pole. Same deal as before. else can I get by? How else can I get away with this? Nothing. 200 is a lot. That's ridiculous. They really need to lower this to be like 100 or something. Increments of like maybe 50, right? So hostility is raised by 25 for every 200. They really need to gradually change this to be very beneficial. Yeah, I really need to suggest that. Because this needs to be buffed in such a way where it's not by multiples of 25. Let me see if I can get a suggestion here. Maybe the temple could be slightly adjusted to do smaller increments. Increments for the benefit. Taking the 200 divide by the 25. Did I not paste my Paste my stuff. Forgot to paste my. Oh my god. Right, well, it's fine. I'll wait until that. Please. Yeah, I'll have to wait. Yep, 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 yep. Do you really? Okay, hang on. One of the hooded horse reps is like, I like to watch. Happy to share your content. I like to watch while I'm doing socials. Huh. I just wanted to reply to it. One of the hooded horse reps because I was just commenting about how he's doing a great job on Twitter and how he's sharing my links or he's like oh yeah happy to happy to um to share happy to watch while I'm doing work I'm like oh cool somebody else is watching my stream yeah I think they're gonna die though 2020 to 10 I don't know where I'm gonna get the 10 that is a problem, guys. That is a problem. You're going to die. Want people to die, right? Want people to die. And we don't we don't want them to leave, we want them to die. Yeah, I'm working on that part right now. Beavers. Beavers, you need to die. I need to take a piece. Cool. 
Bulls show up. The left does do planks and containers, but I could use tools. The tool shop is the best in the game. How many did we kill? We killed off four. I need to kill off more. gotta do die die you need like six people to die right it's like only three only gonna be three Leaving is not the same as dying. Yep, leaving is not the same as dying. Now we got this to deal with, right? Three more people and we actually lose. That's bad. Three people, and then we lose. We need to start gaining. We need to start gaining. Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra. start moving the bar to the left we need to go full Beyonce mode I need to go Beyonce mode Her 
corrupted. Luckily, we have the box. Luckily, we have all the things we need. Oh, wait, wait, what is that? Oh, every two seconds. What is that? 13, right? 13. 13 times direct 2 is 11, right? 11. So, 11. 11 minutes. 11, right? 11 minutes. You need to watch for 11 minutes. We only have one year left. This is not going to help me. Hail. Hail. All right. Well, I just need to win at year three, right? Just Kill off three people. This is your seven. I need to figure out how to win. Eight is just in time. What did you miss? Well, I need to make sure I get that. And I need to kill three people eventually. And I need to get this right. This. What do you call it? Really need this, but just gonna have to suck it up for a little bit. Purging fire easily. And I need to wait for 11, right? 11 is the magic number. I don't want to make sure purging fire is 11. Dangerous is easy. Purging fire. Take that now. That reduces my purging fire production. We already. Let's 
Not gonna get any food. Should be fine too. Yeah. Shit. How is it that I'm always needing more workers? Oh shit. Eleven. Fuck. I forgot to turn it off. Means I got 18. Fuck! What was the other one? 11 minus 2 is 9, right? Fuck, I forgot to pay attention to that. Just in case I screw up. We gotta kill 3 anyway. Couldn't try. Take in workers from order? No, I don't want to do that right now. Because what's going to happen is... If this shoots up here, I have nothing to get out of the queen's hand, or the impatience. Does that make sense? The idea is not to take that out. I mean, if anything, I would take this first. This is not a big deal, because we already have the field. If I take that now, I lose the field. How am I going to solve this? I've already made enough fuel, so that plus the extra plus one is not going to make a difference. Nine, right? We're, we're watching for nine. Then we're after that seven. Okay, so the next one is seven, right? Seven. Seven, right? You need twenty knots. We don't want them to die this year, though. We can kill them off next year. on the last year. Come on, beavers. 
Stop stealing food. I still have some. Hold on. I knew I should have gotten the hospital. Not high enough. But... but yeah, I could do religion. Yep, I could do religion. Terrible options. Nothing. You already have a leather worker. Four. Oh. Gets me one point. Is it? Doesn't even get me a point yet. I mean, Thirty is better than sixty, right? I am so screwed in every which way. Got fuel from the top, right? I mean, that other one's not gonna make a difference. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture of her in my wallet. So they're gonna give me one point at this. Is so shitty, guys. This is what I don't like about the new thing. But whatever. whatever. We will do what we can. Why do we get this freaking herbalist over and over and over? The world hates me. Too late. I'm just gonna leave it running. This is year seven, right? I need to kill three more people and win.
Oh, we're gonna lose people. Well, that's not gonna help me, right? Because if I turn that in, I don't have any fuel. Or, or sorry, if I have... Yeah, see, I burn people. I don't have fuel. That technically will not help me. I can't use this right now this year, right? Because that means I'm killing people. Not a good situation to be in. The other one lowers hostility. Let me just do this. Then. Butcher. Hopefully we don't lose anybody right now. We don't want to lose them this year. We want to lose them next year. Eight, for year eight now. This is the year we don't want to lose them. This should get us out of the jiggle. To beautiful girl. Those are take a long time. Man. I 
Okay. We got what? One point over here? Or point seven five, right? Mm -hmm. I need three. Seven. Seven eleven. Points from somewhere, guys. Magically. We need a magically delicious three points. deals guys absolutely terrible I need three points later from somewhere Left, right? I need what, twenty five? Nice. I got nothing. I got nothing. If I don't have you, this is year eight, though, right? So it's not gonna make a difference. Lots of bars. Lots of bars, guys. Lots and lots of bars. I 
It's beaver time. It's beaver time. Justin beaver time. Excuse me. Well, I mean, I could attack her now, right? I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think so. I <laughs> don't think so. I'm kind of in the home stretch. There's no reason to fuck up. One point that I gave. Oh my god. Fuck me. That one point that I gave up. It would have made a huge difference. Fine. Well, this is fine too. Beavers. Come on, beavers, you gotta pay out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't care if we burn anything. Sorry, uh, I, we don't care if we burn the fuel. Screw that up. Okay. So beavers need to give me what? Two coins about? Hmm. Beavers to give me two points. I need to come up with enough. The others. Come on, B. 
beavers. Oh, conduit! Beavers just need to pay out too. We get beavers. I don't know if I can get the beavers to pay out fast enough. Maybe a problem here. Oh, I didn't pay in time. Yeah. Not worried. Hey, ho. Not worried. Oh, yeah, it's not worried at all. Not worried. Is it? Is it cheaper to rebuild it? It cost me five regardless, right? Oh, yeah, I should have Four mines done. Let's see. I don't think we're going to be able to win in time. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to win in time. Beavers, we're, we're we're putting too much on the beavers. Four minutes. They need one point. All right, okay, this is one point here. Assuming that we get that one. We should be able to. 13. 16. 18 bars. Here. So let's say this is one point. This is two. Two. Three. Yes, okay, hang on. So we have one here, one here, that's two, right? Beaver, maybe, if Beaver gets us one, then we're good, right? All Beavers has to do is give us one point. Percent.
receiver to give us. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and call the... Well, no. Let's call the trader last minute. We'll just kill the trader. We'll call the trader over and kill the trader, right? How many minutes is left? Is it one minute? About what half? Should be able to get it, right? One point. Quarter point. Yeah, we should be able to get it. Yep, we got it actually. Assuming this is done. Yeah, we'll definitely get it if this burns. Definitely. Once this sets up too. is done. That one. This one. One minute thirty two. We should be able to finish that before the storm. Yeah, we should be able to get it right. We just gotta kill three people, right? Paid off to one five. One point. Point seven five. Pretty sure we got it. Oh wait, I can't kill that guy. He was the oh, odd. Can't kill that guy. Kill that guy. Damn it, I can't kill that guy. Should be fine though. I just need to get this to kill people. Keep a picture of her in my wallet. Hey, oh my God. Mala. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, hey, oh. I'm trying to get this up so I don't. So that it auto kills three people for me.
I just need to kill three people. What song is that? A picture in your wallet? Oh, da 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 uh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the name. Uh, everywhere I go, I keep a picture of her in my wallet. Cupid's chokehold, right? Gym class heroes. I can't, uh, what is it? Here we go. Oh shit, it's not enough. I need, I need to kill three. I need to kill three. And get the altar running for the achievement? What do you mean? You could remove some lizard homes? Well, leaving does not count. They have to die. I'm hoping to get this to kill them off because this should kill them off before the year. Right, 259. So it should kill them off and then we win, right? It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't do anything for me. I just need to kill three and then I turn it in. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got it. Bam. Wow, I did it. Even with all that nonsense bullshit stories I've been telling today. I got it, right? I'm just too good at this. Da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. Just too good at this. All right, that is it, guys. Damn. We win. Yay! Yeah. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. GG. Hey, old Banco. Yay. And we got it, right? Five supply packs. 25 mushrooms for the rest of the run. Yay! The gambler? Oh no! That's not what I want! Oh no! Well, that one is definitely buffed now, right? They... No, well, actually, no. They're, they bu they're both buffed. Five seal fragments? If I get five seal fragments, I go in and win, right? Hang on. Oh, no. Can't win. I can't win. Because I can only go up to here. Can go to here, right? Here and in. So if I get this, I'm guaranteed what? Gain 15, 10, right? I get, I get 10. Because that gain five, it's you bet five and you gain 15. So technically, I only get 10. They buffed it though. After I complained about it, I actually made a big deal about it in the uh, private developers channel over the balancing. I am surprised they moved that up at the top of the priority list. Right. So, if I get 10, what does that mean? 92? No, plus the 9, right? So I get actually, what? 10 plus the... plus the 9. For a total prize of 15, right? Yeah, 15, right? Well, see, so you gotta bet five and then you get 15, so that's 10. I mean, the word total prize of 15 is actually wrong. Um, where is this? Scarlet Orchard? We don't have any humans either. Oh no, I'm not doing that without humans. That's insane. No humans. 
There's no humans on the team, guys. I'm not doing that without humans. No guarantee humans is way too risky. Way too risky. Oh god, if I do this one. I guess I can go with this one and this one and then this one in, right? I only need three. Alright, so this one I can spend my five shards. This one and this one and then. I'm not doing this one. I think this is too too intense. <laughs> Especially when I'm distracted and yapping. This is the no pause. I've done it before. I've won. I think I've I think I've only lost to this once in my whole entire maybe twice, I don't know, against the storm career. This is definitely hard. You are unable to use the pause function. And it's very annoying for the viewers to watch too because I have to always hit escape key and sit there and just ramble and try to figure out how I want to do things and then unescape and scramble like like a madman trying to figure this out, right? Why do you why not do it on P10? I can't. I can't. It doesn't go below P10 anymore. I'm too far out. The lowest I can go is P15. Oh shit, stream elements. <laughs> oh, no. Fucking stream elements. Oh my god, I accidentally clicked on the um, the sponsorship. Stream elements have the sponsorship where they guarantee me a base of $150 or $180. And I'm like, okay, it's made by Scopely, which is like a mobile game company that I used to know. And they used to do like, um, Walking Dead Road to Survival. And I paid a shit ton of money playing that game. I'm like, I swore, I swore to myself that I will never play a fucking Scopely made game ever again. And here it is. Stream Elements is advertising Marvel... Marvel Strike Force. I mean, technically, if I stream Marvel Strike Force for two hours, I can make 180 bucks. Baseline for free. But I don't know. It kind of goes against my standard. Although I am broke. I might have to consider that, huh? Hey, and in, in lustrous. Yeah. Has Stream Elements been constantly advertising? They've been sneaking that in, huh? This is bullshit. Bullshit. I didn't even accept the deal. I only said start to, to look at the deal. I didn't say I was going to accept the deal. I didn't accept the Strike Force. I said start, right? Oh, I guess I did, huh? Add a chat bot. Let me turn it off. Bullshit. Yeah, see, I can actually earn $180 if I stream Marvel Strike Force. That's a minimum base for free. No requirements other than that. Stream with chat command enable for at least two hours. I did that because I should have gotten a credit. I have to stream two hours. You know what? I'll, I guess I might stream two hours of Marvel Strike Force at some point so I can collect my $180. They've already spammed you guys for two hours. Solid money. I know, right? Solid money. It goes against my... Sort of my values, right? I swore to myself I would not stream any more Scopely games. Do it? Well, not today. I have to download Bluestack. I have to download Bluestack and install Marvel Strike Force on it. Oh my god. It is free money, though. Yeah, see, I've actually leveled up because it used to be these dumb sponsorships would say, no, we're not going to give you any any base money, right? Because a lot of the big streamers, they get paid base money, right? Like a certain flat amount. Whether they get people to sign up or not, they get paid a flat. I've leveled up now where these sponsorships are offering me a flat number like the big streamers now. So I don't have to push sales. And then, I, if I push sales, I actually can make an extra 350 bucks. Earn $7 for every 7 levels, or earn $13 for every 20 levels, or whatever, right? People who sign up 
and get to level 7, I can earn up to $350. If I push you guys into downloading it and level up to level 7. Selling your dignity has never been more profitable. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I am broke. I could use the money. I'm now having to pay attention more to my side business again. Um, the revenue stream needs to flow again. All right, well, I'll think about it. I've already, I've already committed. I've already met the requirement for spamming chat box for two hours. So they've already, they've already racked in my two hours. The only thing I have to do now to get the eight hundred, hundred eighty dollars is basically stream Marvel Strike Force for two hours. Switch to Marvel Strike Force category when playing the game. That's all it is. Yeah, big boy Ron. No, yeah, I know. I appreciate that, guys. So, you know, I, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Well, we're definitely not doing the gambler. I think I'm just going to do this. And then go here, and then go here and win. That's just the easy way. And use one. This will go into my my fragments, right? That's the plan. Now let me see here. Let me check. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in another game though, because there, there's another game. So I got Odd Spark as a key, but the embargo is supposedly at 3 p.m. But also I got a key from Keymailer, which says there's no embargo, and the game is about three or four hours before even tapping into the new content. So technically, they should not penalize me for the embargo because I have a key from Keymailer. Let me, let me look at my email again and see if they replied to me. Because I pointed out to them that I have two different key sources. I mean, I got the key directly from the developer, but their publisher also gave me a key through Keymailer. But their developer says they want an embargo saying at 3 p.m. All right. Let me read their email again. I think they said they're okay. Uh, sadly, no, the save game won't transfer. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the embargo. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to look at the, the mail I got. See if I, I'm, I'm still enforced to do the embargo. Good question. I'll double check with our publisher team who's in charge of Keymailer and get back to you. As far as I remember, that was the demo only, which is still available on Steam and can be streamed already. And the key was sent for the and the key we sent is for the full EA. That is the one for April 19th embargo. And that is already tomorrow. That is already tomorrow. Oh, I don't know if I should risk it. Hmm. That's like in what, 45 minutes? See, if I start this, I'm not gonna finish it before the embargo starts. What am I gonna do for like 45 minutes? There is, let's see here, I think there's another game that I have to stream too for 45 minutes. Or... There is another game. Okay, why don't I, there's another game. I got like three, four different games that I have to stream. Because I got, I, I decided to accept their keys. Got four different games I have to stream. All right, well, let's try one of them first, and then we'll do, we'll do the, um, we'll wait until the three o'clock. The other one shouldn't take that long. Either. All right, let me um, grab my food, and I'm gonna start up a new game, play that until three o'clock, and then play a new game, and then this one we'll just hold off for next time tomorrow. BRB guys, don't go anywhere. I'm gonna grab my food, eat a little bit because I haven't eaten all day, and I had a meeting with Mine uh, Mine over Magic developers earlier this morning. All right, be right back. <laughs> 